Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to add the blood stain effect to anything in Blender. So let's get started. The texture that I'm using is the fingerprint texture from Resource Boy and the 3D model that I'm using is from Sketchfab and both are linked below in the description. So in Blender, I've imported our 3D model and before getting started, we have to turn on this add-on called Import Image as Plane, which will help us with the workflow a little bit. So just turn it on and we're gonna go to File, Import and there should be our add-on which is Import Image as Plane. Here I'm just gonna import the hand PNG that we downloaded earlier. So after importing the texture into Blender, just keep it roughly in front of the 3D object and scale it to be roughly the same size of the object as well. After that, the next step is to add some geometry to the texture. So just search for subdivide and I'm gonna repeat subdivide a couple of times by pressing shift R. Here I'm just adding a dark red to add to the bloody vibe of the texture and we can make it more realistic later on. So this completes our setup and to start the effect, we have to go to modifiers and add shrink wrap to our texture. Next, we're gonna select the target object on which our texture is gonna wrap around. Right now, it's not working properly because there are multiple objects in our single mesh. So to fix that, just go to the warp method and change it to project. Finally, the last step to do is we switch from positive to negative in the modifier settings and just add a little bit of offset to the texture as well so it appears on top of our 3D object. So this completes how we can add blood stains to anything in Blender and even if we move the texture around the 3D object, it will adjust automatically. Some extra things to keep in mind, when we're doing the offset for our texture, just make sure it's not floating above our 3D object and adjust the offset to be just a little bit above the 3D object only. Another thing to keep in mind is to switch the texture to shade smooth so it appears nicely on top of our 3D object. We can make the texture look more realistic as well by using the same image as the bump node and just play around with the roughness as well to give it more of a dry or wet look for the blur stain as well. Sometimes there can be random distortion on our texture so just apply the modifier and then move it to get rid of it. The method in the tutorial is perfect for multiple objects but if you have a single object or single mesh, you just need to apply shrink wrap modifier with this default setting and just select the target object and the texture will wrap around it perfectly. Just add a little bit of offset and it should be good to go. So this is our tutorial and if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.